So we're going to start out today's lecture. Today's lecture is on the chemistry of life. Today we're going to give you some chemistry skills that since we don't require you to take chemistry yet before you take physio, there's some, there's some stuff that you need to make sure that you're comfortable with. This lecture might feel a little bit like, whoa, that was a lot of information, but most of it should hopefully be review. As we all are fully aware, just because you took a class that covered a topic, it doesn't mean that it's actually in there. So it's a good thing to have this nice little chemistry warm-up review. Because the fact is that physiology is nothing more than applied chemistry. Like, we function because of chemical reactions. Now I have a video here to show you because, and I've turned down the sound, even though the soundtrack of this video is one of my favorites ever. This video might be my all-time favorite video ever. That's true for all the videos that I make you guys watch. But this video, so Harvard Science Biology Land School said they, they whatever, asked ex vivo group to make them some animations of processes that take place in the cell that are scientifically accurate. And so that these ex vivo people were like, sure, we can do that. And they made this one, which it's absolutely fantastic. You have to go look it up. It's called the inner life of the cell. Go look it up and, and watch the whole thing because the music totally makes it. But I'm showing you this because I want you to see that that right there, did you see that? That was a growing microtubule, which is a cytoskeletal uh, component inside your cytoplasm of your cell, all familiar, all stuff you've already learned. They actually can put themselves together and take themselves apart just by forming and breaking chemical bonds. Again, no problem. We're cool with that. But the process of forming and breaking these chemical bonds causes things to happen in your cell. Look at this. This is actually an enzyme. That enzyme, is, it's just a molecule. It's just a protein that because of its shape, it sticks. It forms a chemical bond to whatever that cytoskeletal stick is right here. And then when it does stick to that cytoskeletal piece, that enzyme causes a change of its shape and it actually breaks the bonds in the cytoskeletal chunk right here and it breaks it into two. It's a protein. It acts as an enzyme. It causes something to change. The shape of the resulting product is different, and you have a new function because you have a new shape. Structure determines function. There's another one that is, it's all chemical reactions, and this is where, like, you have to be joking me. They stick together because of chemical reactions. They build. They can walk. Cells can walk. Cells can move. They're, they've got little feet like, oh, like that. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is not a cell. This is inside a cell, but this is your cytoskeleton. This guy has a name. I can never remember what their name, what its name is. So if anybody finds it out, tell me what it is because I never want to forget it again. It's a little molecular machine. It's just made out of protein, and it has a sticky end for this vesicle. Who knows what's inside there? Maybe some hormones, maybe some um, garbage that you want to get rid of. This guy changes shape as it forms chemical bonds with the cytoskeleton and literally walks on, like, these highways in your cell. It's happening inside you right now. What? And that's chemistry. That's not magic. It looks like magic. It's fantastic like magic. It's chemistry. That is why we're going to take the time to do this little chemistry review. And we're going to talk about proteins and their structures and how structures change. Really, in the land of chemistry, if you can be comfortable with the idea that the structure of a molecule can change, and when it does, it can do something different. It can be sticky in a different spot. It can cause chemical reactions to happen differently, then you're golden. Then you have the chemistry background that you need. So we're going to start out by looking at molecular structure and function and then um, get a move on with all this cool stuff. But yeah, seriously, go watch this thing because 
It'll make you cry. It's so cool. Your kids will like it too. Oh, I have to push stop. <laughs> and I'm still here. I hope that I go back and edit this part out.